All right, folks, here we are. This is Tim, and I'm the guest host this morning on Jeannie's The Gift. Actually, it's afternoon where she's at, and uh, Jeannie is going to tell us about Harmony and her life in the band and stuff like that. Isn't that right, Jeannie? I am, Tim. Cool. So uh, I guess we'll get right into it. By the way, Jeannie, of course, is um, the former Jeannie Lowe of the Reapers. And she's Paul Poulton's wife, and she's co-leader at Living Stones Church on the Internet. And she's a great blessing to us there. Thank you. So uh, here we go. Jeannie, what, what is your gift, and, and how does it benefit yourself and the body, and, and how do you use it to call the lost? That's a great question, actually, Tim. I love to sing, and I love music, and I love harmonies. I do sing lead but I love harmonies and probably prefer to be more backing and harmonies. Why? Because harmonies I think are really interesting and they add another dimension. And that is the gift that the Lord has given to me. And melody, it's a tune and harmony has entirely like different notes that you can listen to music in a different way and you can be versatile with harmonies which I really like and it can can improve your listening ear as well it's like you have to train your ears because you don't want to hit those wrong notes and you want to get them right you know so it's part of the embroidery of music that gives the depth and you can get different styles and tones with harmonies as well that's great uh so how do you how do you develop it any secrets to training and uh you know how does it come about i think it's a gift that the lord has given me which comes naturally to me i think you do have to have a good ear and i think you know we do make mistakes at times but i think you do need to have a good ear and there are parts so that like a choir you can actually learn parts um so that's a good way forward for sure and uh other than music what does harmony mean in the body of christ to you and are the two related do you think yeah I think that harmony is something beautiful, actually, because we need harmony with our brothers and our sisters and not be in discord. I think we all have different gifts that are distinct to us. And the Bible says in Philippians 2, verse 2, make my joy complete by being like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind and i think that sums it up beautifully amen yeah amen and uh, i know your your time in the reapers was beneficial you traveled with some sort of a salvation crusade in europe and uh can can you tell us about that sure yeah i was in a band called the reapers uh and that was with good news crusade don double and we toured all over the country. We did tent missions and camps and Christmas music. And we did uh, schoolwork and assemblies. And we went to prison just visiting Tim. And that was good opportunities to talk about the Lord as well. And in the band, I sang mainly harmonies. I think when you're in a band, you develop a friendship and you have to learn to work with different personalities as well. We were all different, but we were all Christians and we all had music, shall we say, in common. Now, we didn't always see eye to eye musically, like maybe they might say, oh, Jeannie could sing this song and maybe that would be a good song for her to sing. And somebody else would say, well, I'm not so sure this will suit her voice. I'm not so sure about this one. But we learned, shall we say, to move forward because it's part of being a Christian. And we want to do that without arguing and bearing a grudge. I think when you work, in a band you need to work together i think that's really important you don't want to work 
against one another. And you think about the music and what everyone is bringing to the table is important. I mean, some of the band, they actually did write uh, songs and there was one of them who had previously been in a, a very big band in America who also wrote music and songs as well. I think when you're in a band, you have to be prepared, really prepared. And we did rehearse well, I think. You don't want to go on a platform and think, well, actually, I don't know this song. <laughs> you know, I can remember we were learning a Christmas song, One Christmas, to record. And so we all went in separate rooms to learn our different parts. And um, by the time we got back together to record, one of the band said, I've just forgotten what I've got to sing. And so he went back to learn it. But by the time he come back, we've forgotten our parts. So oh, we all boy. had to go back and remember those parts. But I'm glad to say everything went out great and well. Yeah, there's a lot of traveling. It can get tiring. You need to make sure that you go get rest and things like that so you don't get fractures. But on the whole, yeah, it was good. It was a good time. And, and try not to have uh, weird incidents trying to get food in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you ate on the run. You ate when you could, you know. So um, in your interactions with the band, I mean, what do you think of? Particularly, you know, we hear all these things about, oh, I saw this preacher do this. I saw this preacher do that. And as a band member, you are a preacher. You know, even if you're just the sound men or, or the drummer or something, as a band member, you are the preacher. And, you know, uh, Psalms 23 says, he restores my soul and he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. What, what do you think of, while you're out there doing the music, behaving properly, hopefully, for the most part, and if you make a mistake, repenting and dealing with it graciously as part of the very stressful thing of being in a band. It's not easy. No. Uh, what do you think of that being an example to the public, even when you mess up? What do you think? Yeah, I, I think you've got to really make sure that you keep close to God and have those quiet times and pray uh, to keep you on the right track. And I think those times are really important to do that. It's easy when you get so busy, you're on the road, you're traveling, you've got a setup. Um, there might be books, a bookstall as well that you're setting up and you need to go through the songs and practice. And it's easy to forget your own walk with the Lord sometimes. And I remember the Lord spoke to me once and he said to me, I come first and your music comes second. And that really spoke to me. So, yeah, put God first. Amen. And uh, regarding uh, your role in the church and and for that matter, of, of course, with Paul, because two are one in a marriage, yeah. right? And uh, in the body of Christ at Living Stones, what, what is your vision going forward? With Living Stones? And how can we follow Christ with you? Yeah, well... I really do enjoy Living Stones Church on the Internet. Um, there are reasons why I enjoy it, which I will share with you if that's all right, Tim. Sure, because please. you can join a meeting and you can listen to it recorded anytime you want. So if you think, oh no, the weather's bad and I can't get to church, or if you think I've missed that meeting for some reason or another, you can just download and listen to that recording anytime you want on zoom it's also cost effective and for me personally i really like to see people's faces rather than the back of their heads like you do in church and also people can mute themselves so you can hear what the speaker is saying clearly and you can mute yourself and sing along and it's also good for people who are stuck at home or they can't get out for some reason or another. So I think Zoom is a good thing. I think there's a place for Zoom and church. I think church is very, very important. And it says in the Bible not to neglect meeting with the saints. And I get that. And I think it really is important. But since 
the pandemic, it has been very, very difficult. And I don't think God is limited to just church walls, you know. I think that we can meet on Zoom. People have, um, say they go to work and they have Zoom meetings and things like that. And we can also have Zoom meetings as well uh, as a church. And I think God reminded us, Paul and I, uh, just of recent that we do live videos. So the word, the spoken word gets uh, put out there on the Living Stones Church on the Internet. And also, if you think about it, the written word, because like Moses is one example in the Bible, God gave him the, the tablets to write on. And so we have the written word as well. And so we have that on Living Stones, which is like the thought for the day uh, and things like that. And I love the way people come to contribute as well and the body is used. And it says in 1 Peter 2 verses four and five, as you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also like living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. So I think if we know the Lord Jesus, as our personal saviour, we are being built into that spiritual house. So we are actually living stones because we come as one body, a bit like a family really, and we can use our different gifts to bless and encourage one another, whether it be music, preaching, praying, whatever that may be. So we can build one another up. I think that's really important. And Jesus is the cornerstone, so in other words, he is the foundation and the most important part of building his church. So the living stones are believers that come to know Jesus. So, yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, that's great. Uh, I, I suppose that's us. I want to thank you, Jeannie, for letting me sit in the hot seat. Uh, I hope I'm halfway measured up and for sharing your thoughts with us today. And, and to those listening, uh, go do an internet search, The Reapers YouTube. You can find some of Jeannie's old music there. It's great. And for that matter, Jeannie does a lot of stuff with her husband, Paul, under uh, the Paul Poulton Project, paulpoulton.com. They do a lot of stuff together. And, and on their Facebook pages, you see them occasionally po posting mu music. And um, come see us on Facebook at The Living Stones Church on the Internet. And... Uh, enjoy both Jeannie and Paul's hard work and the contributions of our members. Yeah. Join us if you like and um, follow Christ with us. That sounds good. And I think Paul, you mentioned about Paul and I singing together, just to say that when you sing together, um, the two of us, you know, we really have to make sure that we rehearse because you have to match each other vocally. It's a bit different than singing with a band. And you have to make sure also that your voices blend well together. So with that person you're singing with, in this instance, it's Paul, my husband. And I really do enjoy singing with Paul because he challenges me. He gives me a challenge very often. So I find it a real joy and pleasure to sing with him. And I think rehearsal, for those who are into music, I think rehearsal is very important. You've got to be comfy with what you are doing. And, you know, sometimes it means staying up late for us until we feel comfortable with that song. And listening to other artists' music is really good as well. And we feel passionate about music, we really do. And it's good to challenge yourself musically and experiment as well. And like, does that harmony work with that song or does it not work very well? You know, I can remember uh, we were preparing for an album and Paul um, suddenly felt inspired 
uh, not with the words on this occasion, but with the music. And I can remember he was in this very room where we're speaking now. And Paul was just really practicing and got this piece of uh, guitar uh, music ready for the album. And it really did pay off. And finally, I think prayer is good as well because it's powerful. It's really powerful. And we pray that we have the right songs um, to minister to the people because we know that music speaks to people. And I often think about David who played music to King Saul, which actually soothed him. So I think music does this for people. And we reach out to others through our music, whatever venue we're doing, where, whether it's online, like we live in Stones. Uh, also, uh, we have done that with past gigs as well, but we are doing that on Living Stones as well. Thank you, Tim. Uh, oh, that was great. A anything else that, that you'd like to add? Just that it can be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it can be fun. Hard work, but fun. The whole thing can be fun. Uh, music, harmony, etc. Being a Christian is fun. People don't get that. <laughs> you know, it's fun to break down the gates of hell. It's fun to see the demons run. Don't get me started on it. <laughs> thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, uh, Tim. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.